Hi everyone, it's Kezia over here from Kezia's Corner. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Kezia and this is my little corner. If you like what you see, I would love it if you join my lovely family. And if you don't want to miss a video of mine, then press the notification bell button and it will notify you every single time I post a video. Today's video is going to be mostly about the Jackie Aina eyeshadow palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Jackie Aina is a fellow YouTuber. She's like amazing. And yeah, she created this palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, these are the shades. They're just so so pretty so stunning and I created that look with this palette today so besides using the palette I'm also going to be using the new Eyelore lashes called Naturals I would like to thank Eyelore and Malta for these um, I tried them out I haven't worn lashes in a while yet so I was really happy to try them out and actually succeeded I'm very proud of myself so yeah that is basically going to be the video today it's a tutorial using the Jackie Aina palette and then also featuring the eyelore lashes so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more then press subscribe and yeah so without further ado let's get started into creating this very look I hope you like it bye <laughs> So all I did so far was carve my brows and um, prime my lids. I used my Revlon Photo Ready Candid Concealer. Oh my goodness. I've been seeing this concealer go around so many times. I've done a review, so if you want to check this out, check out the review of this one plus its foundation and powder. Then check out my link in my description box or else basically just check out my previous video because that is where I reviewed that baby. So, so far all I did was basically just carve out my brows and now we're going to start having some fun and I'm just going to try and not damage my nail polish. So over here, this is the outer packaging of the um, eyeshadow palette and because it's a bit annoying to open up. Three weeks later. And oh my goodness, like look at it, isn't it just so, so pretty? It's beautiful. I love that they changed the packaging, that this is sort of, you know, that changes color from like pink to like green to like this little bit of like blue here. It's just gorgeous. And then the palette comes like that. And that is the Jackie Aina eyeshadow palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills. It has beautiful shades. So this is the palette. You also get a brush as always. But wow, isn't it like stunning? It's beautiful. Today we're going to be using this palette and I'm going to start doing a eyeshadow look. So Yes, here we go, here we go, here we go. So I'm going to be taking the Jessup Luxe Crease Brush and I'm taking Supreme, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to blend... Oh, no, wait. <laughs> Please, guys, yeah, first we have to apply some tape because I need some tape up in here. Okay, so I have my tape in place and now we can begin. So like I said, I'm going to use the shade called Supreme. So I'm going to apply this all over my crease. Also going to drag it inwards because I'm going to try and do a halo eye obviously you know those things will only know if i'll actually succeed at the end of the video <laughs> so let's not just count our eggs before they hatch but what i am attempting is to do a halo eye which i rarely do i think i've only done one in my life so if this goes wrong you know why Cream really reminds me of a shade from the Norvina palette. I'll basically place it on the screen now because I don't remember what the shade is called. However, yeah, it does really remind me of that shade. I think it's a slightly, it's a slightly darker, more pigmented though than the Norvina one. So yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so now it's time for another color and I'm actually going to take this one which is called primer and I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the first shade with Supreme. Um, I'm just basically going to try and intensify um, that, ooh, that pink. So starting from here, I'm just going to blend it into the socket 
and then drag it to my inner corner. So that's basically what I'm gonna do. So let's just let's just be a bit patient, Katie. We're gonna be a bit patient, okay? So yeah, basically I haven't at anything yet. But I kind of really want to record this video because I have another video after this to record. And I don't yeah, I just took a cereal bar and hopefully I managed to stay with that. So yeah. <laughs> just going to drag it inwards and just pack it pack it there. I think that's right. That's that's about right, right? Or do I need to like that? <laughs> yeah, ooh! I got the wrong shade. When you hit the wrong shade with the brush, that's not good, is it? <laughs> That's not good at all. Just going to maybe drag this here, just in case. Maybe I just need a wee bit more. Okay, so now I'm gonna use a teeny weeny little brush, hopefully. I, I don't know, I don't do too much. <laughs> we'll just use this, it's fine. And I'm gonna take the shade called Credit, right, which is right there, which is like a brown, brownie shade. And tap, tap, tap. And I'm just going to place it over here in the outer corner to just deepen um, the shades because so far we use sort of a pink and purple and now to maybe deepen them up a bit I'm going to use this brown. So I'm just going to drag it into my crease like so. And then I'll just put some some into my um, inner corner, near my inner corner. So just don't want that much. So literally just a bit. Ooh, it's gonna get my eyeball. I think that's fine, but what I want to do is I kind of want to use the other brush and maybe diffuse it a bit. It's good. It's good. It's fine. It's it's actually really good. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye and I'll be right back. I think it's coming okay. I hope. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to use a clean brush. I'm just going to go around the edges and you know just blend them a bit a wee bit more okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a concealer and I'm going to do a half quarter cut crease I don't know what it's called but it's basically what you would do for um <laughs> what am I saying for a cut no for a halo eye that's what I meant Okay, so I might have not managed to do it exactly as I obviously hoped for and they're probably not the same. However, we're just going to um, work with this, although I'm just, I think I want to fix it because I don't like it. Okay, whatever. This is what we're going to work with because <laughs> this is ridiculous now. So I'm going to use a flat brush and I'm going to apply this shade right here which is called Trust Issues which I think is my favorite shade by far. Oh my god, it's so pretty. And I'm actually going to just put it in the middle. I'll fix it after. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another brush. Mm, let's, take, let's take this one, which is another soft crease. No, I need a bit more denser, tighter. Yeah, let's take this one. Or, no. Okay, let's just take this one. I don't know what brush this is. Um, I'm going to take that pink shade called Supreme. And I'm just going to blend that in with the glitters. In my mind, obviously, the pink would be there, but... <laughs> It just doesn't want to stay there, does it? So I'll just do it on the other eye. I'll try it on the other eye. Oh, 
okay, so maybe this is just, it's not gonna work, because yeah, it's fine, it's perfectly fine, you know. I'm just gonna take Pinker, which is the other purple shade that we use, and I'm just going to blend this in next to the pink, just a bit. Don't give up, guys, you know, when, when you're having like a bit of a problem, don't give up, just keep on. Fighting. So I'm using actually the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush and I think I will manage to get my spotlight eye the way I want it. So let's see. Yeah, that's fine. I think you understand what I was trying to do. I was trying to put like the halo eye as on the center and then it blended with the pink and the purple that we used. I mean, it's not perfect. What I like doing to the ends is I kind of like brushing them out just a bit. So here are the finished eyes. I'm just going to put on some eyeliner and I'll be right back. I wish I recorded myself doing the eyeliner because that was the easiest eyeliner I have done in my life. I used the Revolution um, Renaissance Eyeliner, I think it's called. Well, there isn't the name, but I think it's called the Renaissance Eyeliner. Anyways, today I'm going to be wearing lashes. I know, right? <laughs> and I think I want to mention them in my video. They are the Ilure Natural Lashes. Do you like the new packaging? Um, these lashes are reusable, they're recyclable, um, and you can reuse them for five times. There's also a new formula glue in the box. Um, and it is latex free and it's also, also vegan friendly and they should last about 18 hours. Ooh. Okay, so I'm so, so excited. Um, let's try them out, shall we? Okie dokie, okie dokie. These are them. They're really, really pretty. Um, very natural, something that I would wear. Um, I'm going to be using the glue um, that came with it. It comes like this. Even the packaging is new as well of the glue. So I think... These lashes are actually going to fit my lids. Let me just make sure of it. So let's see. So this one is the right one. Oh my God, I've never had a pair of eyelashes that actually, I don't have to trim them, so that's pretty good. So I'm gonna stick them on. So I think I managed to put these um, eyelashes on. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Rimmel Scandalize mascara <laughs> and I hope to God that they don't come off so okay so these are the lashes I actually really like them because they're very very natural so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go do my face and I will be right back okay so I am back and I did my face and you'll be able to see what's on my face in my previous video or the video after this one. It's about the Revlon products anyways, the Photo Ready Candid Anti-Pollution Products. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to apply a waterline shade underneath so to finish the eye look. I'm actually going to put the shade called Credit, which we used um, as part of our outer corner. And I'm going to put it on my waterline. I'll unlearn it. Okay, I'm gonna do something also with this eyeliner from Pixi. This is the Endless Silky Eye Pen and in the shade Velvet Violet. Yeah, I'll go do I'll go finish my face up. This is the finished look today. That's me using the Jackie Aina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I hope you like this video and I hope you like this look. If you recreate this look, then please let me know in the comments down below or just tag me in any photos that you post. Um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see when I'm pre-subscribed, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!